Hi guys, this is Lena at GradeLink. Thanks so much for joining me for the financial webinar video series. Uh, this is video 21. In this video, I will be talking about the child care expenses reports in the financial section. To access those reports, again, you want to be on your financial uh, tab and on the upper left, and then your reports tab at the top of the page, and then you would select the child care expenses option in the reports to run. This one's a little bit different because you need to select a tax year. And so I'll go ahead and select 2013. You could run this for all students or for a particular student or for a family. Uh, it's going to uh, still have one page per student regardless of which of these criteria you select. They're uh, student specific for each page. Once I have the year I'm interested in, I would click Run Refresh Report in gray. And here I see on this report the, uh, the school address. I see the federal tax ID number, and I'll show you where you can add that in in just a moment. I see it's addressed to the parents of and then the student's name. And then uh, I see all of the child care expenses that have been entered in the ledger over the course of the year. At the bottom, I do have an authorized signature line there, and then the, the total uh, for their for the parents tax returns let me show you uh, where actually first if you want to print this report you can export it to Excel PDF or Word and if uh, if you export it it'll export all of the pages of this report so we're looking just at uh, the report for Emma Delgado in this case but you can use these arrows to access all of the reports and when you export it it exports as one file so that's nice uh, where the federal tax ID number pulls from is your admin tab in the upper right and then you want to click on your settings button and the school's federal tax ID number you just type right into this box so it's really easy just put it in there and then click save uh, now you might be wondering how does GradeLink know which of the um, charges to put on this report. They all just happen to be after school care, but how does it work? Well, when you're setting up your fee types, and remember fee types are under the admin tab in the upper right, and then fee types in the upper left, you see that you can, uh, let me just click on one as an example. I'll click on my after school care. You can type any title you'd like, and then you can have your before and after school billing category if you choose. So you enter this in your fees types page just like you do with your other fee types, but if you check this box here at the bottom, include on daycare tax deduction report, then that's how GradeLink knows that any time that this after school care charge is entered in the ledger for any student, make that charge appear on the uh, child care expenses report. So the family child care expenses is very similar. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at uh, all students selected. Actually, if I'm looking for a particular family, I could check this bubble. And then if I know the name of the parents or the family ID number, I could select who I'm interested in. Or I do, again, have the option to leave it at all students. Um, let me go ahead and scroll over here. Let me go ahead and choose a, a family, actually, because this is uh, there's a lot of students in this school, and not all of them have siblings. So, if I'm going to run the family child care expenses, maybe it would be a little bit faster for me to leave the family filter on, and then I'll select the Earhart family, and then just run the report. Now, when I run this report, it looks very similar to the other child care expenses report we ran. The only difference is that it contains the charges for both Amelia and her sister Julie on the same report. So it's basically the same thing. It's just that if any two students have the same family number, and we've talked about the family number before, then it'll include uh, all of those child care uh, transactions on this one report. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me in the financial section. If you have any questions, you can feel free to contact us at 1-800-742-3083 or send an email to service at gradelink.com. This is Lena at GradeLink signing off.